Okay, last class we did our C, D, E, F, G, H. So we did our A, B already in bigger scale. Um, so in this case, we made a, uh, the shadow dark and the letter is a lighter uh, box, right? And light source is coming from here. So today we're going to tackle the next, uh, we're going to skip a little bit. Uh, we'll do the I, J, K, uh, L, M, M, O next, uh, but we're going to do this together today. Okay. All right. So the difference between this one and this one, uh, the different angle, first of all, uh, second, the light source is uh, from left bottom and this one is uh, top left. And the, I made a letter dark, so the letter uh, dark parts is darker than the shadow. See how uh, different those two uh, images are. Okay, depending on the light source, depending on the angle that you create, and depending on the letter itself, how you want the structures to be a little bit darker, gray tones. And then from there, your shadow, uh, you can make it darker than the letter itself, or the lighter uh, than lighter itself. So it gives the different mood, right? Okay, so let's do this design today. Uh, so we're gonna go back to the uh, this design later. So I, J, K, L, M, M, O. So I made it a little variation. So the beauty of our uh, isometric uh, drawing is this. You don't have to worry about proportionally getting things right. You don't have to worry about uh, going to the vanishing point. As long as you have a uh, grid uh, ready, it will take about what, five minutes, less than five minutes to prepare. And I remember telling you that I'll uh, print them out once you made it with the ballpoint pen. So we're going to go with the uh, letter S. Another th convenient thing about the uh, isometric drawing is you can do the multiple letters together. Last time I did one at a time, but today we're going to tackle a few letters together. What I mean by is, remember we used the five boxes and three boxes. So if this is a bottom, right, there's going to be letter. Right. Oops, I should have been doing this. I wasn't thinking, sorry. And then uh, we're going to have a one gap. And there's a three uh, places. But since it's a T, you only need one, right? And then skip one box, and then there's a U. Right? And then all the vertical lines, you can do it uh, at once. Right. So better than uh, the perspective draw drawing that, oh, I need to get everything uh, perfectly. I keep forgetting it's uh, five boxes. Right. And then after that, you just go uh, things together. So there's a top of the S, T, and U. Uh, I forgot this one, vertical. So that way we can really save times. I keep skip, uh, skipping, didn't I? So all the guidelines are there, so all you have to do is figure it out where you want to locate them. Right? And then thickness. So uh, reduce the mistake, just do the front one. If 
video, so I already make some mistakes, right? Okay. So diagonal not lines. Just get all the diagonal lines ready. Then we can do the line on the back. Oh, pretty fast and easy. So I forget this one. So there's always little things that I miss, but that's okay. I uh, will catch that eventually. This line should have been going all the way up. And then the back. this one All right, after that we're gonna uh, locate the uh, the lines are uh, for the next letters so one two so shadow you need five right so one two three four five so this is the parts that you're gonna have a uh, next letters All right so we're gonna do P one two three four five And then Q goes here, right? But you need one more space apart, so it's going to end up there. Right? And two parts. And then next letter is located where? Here, right? So there will be. Right. And then R. So let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. So let's establish the top. And one, two, three. Nope. You gotta go one more up here. And then this one belongs to. So this will be the uh, front, and you need one more line up there. So always I'll just add one more if you just need it. Okay. And there we go. The inside. Inside. Bottom part. Right. There's an R. And this is the bottom part of R, and then you can just connect this corner to corner to create a L. R I mean okay and then there we go the side since this is a basic, we're not going to do the uh, circular. We're just going to use the straight uh, for everything. There we go. And we are almost there. So Q, we're going to use the diagonal line here, right? And then there, the blank. So 
So there it is, Q. Let's see, is there anything we're missing here? Diagonal lines here, and another diagonal line there, and the rest is done. So shadow, you are just basically uh, copying off what's already there, right? So that's how easy this uh, is. Uh, isometric uh, drawing is once you have everything in what do you do you just uh, follow those boxes so that's why uh, creating the letters like this is much easier than uh, two-point perspective so this is a uh, ultimately variation of the two-point perspective So R, the shadow, drawing this way, right? Good. So if this is the way, there's a hole of R, shadow comes here, and then it's the bottom parts there, so it should be connecting it to there. Here, you just follow the same thing, right? and there's a three. So you have uh, all the shadow for the letters, then you are done, and you are ready to uh, shade. Okay. So again, so that's how you create the letters. Good. All right.